Yo, what's up? Welcome to a little coffee with Trav. And we're hitting up today where we're talking about Philippians 4.19. All right, so context is Paul, he is basically talking to, talking to the church about giving a big financial offering, right? We talk about money around here because we're not afraid of it. We talk about money on this channel because God's called us to dominate in all areas of life, and that includes financially, and not enough people are teaching on it, so I'm going to. Philippians 4.19 is a great promise. It's a truth. It's a spiritual law, but I want you to look at it. This is a promise from God, and so the Philippians are given a big offering, and Paul had just got done saying, you guys rock. Look, I'm not seeking your gift, but I am seeking the blessing that is accumulating to your account. That's Philippians 4.17. And then two chapters later, or two verses later in 4.19, he said, look, you guys are awesome. Thank you for this big gift. And know this, my God will supply your every need. He will fill to the full every need you have according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I'll read it exactly here from the Amplified Classic. And he says, my God will liberally supply, liberally more than enough abundantly, right? Liberally supply, fill to the full, your every need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. So a couple things I wanna point out there is let's take this as a promise. God's gonna supply your need too. Fill to the full and liberally. That means he's going to give you not just what you need, but extra on top. You've heard me talk about 2 Corinthians 9, uh, verses 8 through 10 a lot on any of the stuff I do. Because it says that God is going to give you more than enough financially so that all your needs are met. And you'll have plenty left over to give to every good work and charitable donation. It's just confirming that here. He will liberally supply your every need. You think every need includes money? Yeah, and actually in context, if you go read Philippians 4, they're talking literally about money, right? This isn't like he spiritually supplies your spiritual needs or whatever, however people want to water this down, just go read it. He's talking about money in context here. So it's easy for us to look at that and be like, oh yeah, that promise is for me. God meets my needs too. So if you're watching this and you you have a financial need, you got to pay the bills or maybe it's something above that. You believe in God for um, a new building for your business, uh, for new employees, payroll, whatever it is. If it counts as an every need, if it falls under the category of every, then you can take it, the scripture, and say, God, your word says, I'm reminding you of your word in Philippians 4.19, that you will liberally supply and fill to the full my every need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And the way I look at that, where it says your riches and glory, to me that's like his bank account. He's gonna, it, it's not up to me to meet this need. God will supply from his riches, his account. He's got a lot more in his account than I got in my account. Let's just draw from that. All right, Lord, I thank you for this. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have any fear. I'm gonna cast my cares to you. Like it says in 1 Peter 5, 7, I'm going to give those to you and I'm going to trust that you're going to do what you said here. So I'm going to go about my day. What's my instruction? I'm going to go obey what you've got for me to do today. Obey my marching orders for today. And while I work, I'm going to work at peace, in peace on the inside. I'm going to work at rest on the inside, knowing that you, you are filling to the full my every need from your bank account. So take that today. Somebody needs to hear this. You need to apply this and, and open it up for yourself. I'm always telling people, I man, get in like a physical Bible, right? Do whatever you gotta do. Go get your Gideon Bible that you stole from the hotel a couple years ago. <laughs> whatever you gotta do. Get in the real Bible, put it in front of your eyes. It's okay to use the digital stuff too. I got it pulled up here. But there's just something special when you got it right in the book. It's a little bit different. So God's gonna meet your needs. Don't work for work and live from a place of fear. Work from a place of rest, a place of trust, because you got it backed up right here. This is his promise. This is, this is him promising you, I got you financially. All areas, but financially right now is what we're talking about. All right? Philippians 419, go check it out. Then head over to theincreasemethod.com. We can see all the great programs we have going on. The Increase Challenge, 10 Weeks to 10K Boot Camp. We got all kinds of cool stuff that's going to help you 
live a life of increase. All right, see you in the next one.